you know, we're going to be in front of the king a lot now. He's in the field. So maybe we can be a little extra vigilant to make sure that we are with our proper attire. So we can um, take a moment and get ready for a meditation to really review this. And we're just going to take a deep breath and I really want to inspire all of you to be stoic. I actually looked up the definition in this book. What does stoic mean? Like really capable and able that whatever is going on around you that you really have an inner peace within you and that you're really grounded and can think clearly of like how to really react or respond so you're not like and then after oh, how did I do that? Oh, how many years do you have to study? How many years do you have to pray? And how did that happen? Like to be able to really be present and grounded and like think things through <laughs> really clearly. And not to say that when we do fall, not to be too hard on ourselves. Not to let the Itahara drag us down. Just pick yourself up. And This Yurita will really help me get to a big early on. That's it. Done. Move on. Really move on. So let's get to that stoic. I like that name. That's, that's something that resonates, that word resonates. Just maybe close your eyes and take a deep breath. And with every breath you take, you just feel a wave of relaxation. And the word stoic. You want to be fortified. You want to be strong, grounded, centered. And you just really breathe in. Internally, deep within you. And as you exhale, you just exhale everything that's opposite of that fragmented, scattered, wishy-washy, whatever. Just leave me. <laughs> Please, just leave me. <sighs> and see yourself like really capable of emulating Hashem's ways. Chaz de Hashem. The purpose of being able to achieve the level of being able to be stoic is so that you make the right decision of following Chazde, Hashem, Hashem. And you see yourself like really feeling it in your mind and it's like really flowing into your heart flowing into every fiber of your being your physical being now is going to be full of life full of energy and centered and calm and you see a beautiful image the Shrina is having around you. All the things you did up till now this year is clink, 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 clink. And you see an armor of holiness protecting you, nourishing you, strengthening you. 
and you see this like ripple effect of now the freedom to have the pnimiut of your neshama, the deepest essence of your soul coming before you and you see it it's an actual truthful tshuva from having aroused within you a compassion for your soul for its journey for the difficulties you literally almost can feel the energy of Hashem in the month of Elul that's right here in the field coming to you and making a clink, clink, clink change an everlasting change that already before Rosh Hashanah you'll have already shifted and already seen true emistic tshuva see yourself exactly the way your dream come true picture reality exactly the strength the armor the light the clink 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 your godly essence wisdom flowing right and left and all around it's just so it's amazing And like you're so perfect with everyone around you. And everyone loves it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. They love you for it. And then take a moment and like beg Hashem for His sake. Please, Hashem. Ad Masai, how much more can I beg? How much more can I beseech that another Ella will come by? And I don't want to miss the opportunities. I don't want to miss all that's out there for me. And I really bless all of you. Amen. Like that it's just going to be this year. Have a beautiful rest of the week. And I pray really that life will not be the same after this class. I'm praying for myself as well. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye, my dear. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.